Let's scan my hand. So let's scan my thumb here. Let's see, uh, <laughs> it should start appearing there somewhere. Yeah, you can see my hand there kind of appearing and my thumb and stuff. I just try and keep my thumb out of things. Uh, my hands, <laughs> keep, yeah, keep it out of trouble. But uh, yeah, no, it'll it'll scan your hand or or whatever happens to be in the path. It's a class two eye safe laser, so it's okay to, you wouldn't want to shoot somebody in the eyes like on purpose, but it's not going to hurt anything. But it can, we can scan skin. Um, an AMT is an automatic mechanical toy. This is for our first year course. Think about high school students coming into university. Everything is handmade, and as you can see, there is a translational movement right here, and the gears yeah, are spinning, movement. and the rotational movement, which is right here. Everything is handmade, so you can find this at home and make it yourself kind of thing. And we painted over everything, so it took a lot of effort to do it, definitely. A lot of trial and error. Yeah. Okay, so this was a robot showdown. It's, uh, it was an exploration into uh, a physical uh, interactive game. And so really it's just a laser tag with, uh, with uh, I guess we can tag them with a laser. So we got this little laser at the top that can shoot. Uh, you can sort of see in the video. And, and you can also tag them by hitting them on the side. Basically, I, I think it's really interesting because it's controlled wirelessly. And it's got this little module and it communicates with a relay station. And this relay station then communicates with the server computer. So as you see in the video, we've got a main computer in the back here, which is obscure right now. And that main computer keeps track of the score, uh, time, and, uh, and whenever anyone gets hit. project's called uh, Run DC and it was done for uh, so IAT right 331. Watch, watch Our project is a data visualization system for races. runners. Uh, we want to find a way that runners could take over a city um, by redefining the geography, by the decisions of where they go. So it takes GPS data um, and tracks it and visualizes it in a way that sort of redefines the landscape. And in our case, we chose to use Washington, D.C. because it's one of the most well-defended cities in the United States, um, with all the military organizations and everything that's going on there. As well, it's, one of the, it's rated one of the top running cities in the United States. You want to go for a run, so you say go for a run, you turn it on, and it plays you music, and it does whatever. And it tracks your GPS, so it tracks every little location that you go to. And every 10 seconds, it takes a GPS coordinate. Uh, you get height or altitude, you get speed, all these kinds of things. And then when you get back, okay, you say, okay, great, this is my run, and you sync it with your Nike servers. So we go and pull all that data from the Nike servers, and we pull it down uh, into our program, and we create visualizations based on that data. Slug Robots, it was done for IAT 337, which is Representation and Fabrication. So the project brief for this was to create a uh, kinetic sculpture that balanced nature and technology. So we took a traditional music box and slowly worked on it and worked on it until it became a walking, moving slug. This is a form exploration and lighting design. What we have is we took this regular printing paper and we laser cut the perforation so that it was easier to fold and it left us with a very versatile form here. Like you can, you can compress it, you can uh, expand it. We had it over top of this to show different aesthetics for it. But what we're trying to do is to find the most meaningful application for it. Um, and some of the applications we have were where if you, if you squeeze this together, it lights up where the copper points meet. Um, this is light sensors. It's a bit dark, so it's already on. But what we're looking at as well is different ways to like get the, the form to hold itself. So we, we looked at like uh, magnetic. Um, we looked at magnetic uh, paint to see if we could get the form to hold together. But what the, all this was just for was this, all of these were for user testing. We just wanted to ask people what would they do with this in like a living setting. Like if this was somewhere where you got everybody eats and talks and uh, you do your homework, uh, what would you do with this?
project's name is Envela. It's from IN320 Body Interface. When we designed this dress, Envela, we have one research question in mind, and that is, for the user, what does it mean to be protected? How can we portray the idea of safety and protection for the user? And so in our initial research, we looked into different animals, like the puffy fish and the lizards. So it opens in size, it fans out, and hopefully that increase in size will scare the opponent away. But unfortunately, we're not fishies or we're not lizards. We cannot connect to those gestures. So we went back to human beings. So what does it mean? So the answer is actually very subjective. Safety is a very subjective feeling. But we find that that one gesture, one answer might be very simple. It's one simple hug. When you're scared, nervous, or when you're in need, that one simple hug can really do it. A lot of work speaks thousands. And so how does it work technically is we have these users uh, wear the sensors underneath the shirt. Uh, it takes the user's heart rate and averages out and uses that as a threshold. When it feels like, when it says that a user's heart rate goes beyond the threshold in a very short period of time, it will fan out. But when your heart rate goes below the threshold again, the, set, the computer will sense it as the user's being normal again and it will close this once again. So we, sure. when it opens, we want to create the idea of making space very personal for the users. And at the same time, when it's open, my user experience is I can hear a lot better. And in a different perspective, when people see the stress, you see the stress opens up, hopefully they will be intimidated and take it as a sign as back off, so don't come near me. So we want the user to think clothing in a different 